Hey there, speculators. It's Roderick, lead derivatives trader, Traders Dev Group, where we develop system traders worldwide. Hey, uh, it is another fine episode of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Say, I grew up in Los Angeles, and if any of you have ever been to, I don't know if it's at the other Disneyland, but this has been an original ride since 1955, and it's considered a dark ride. It's a little scary. Um, I don't know if that means it's appropriate for all ages or not appropriate for all ages. It's just a wacky, fun little ride. I always remember it. And uh, it was meant to be a roller coaster originally, but uh, it was just turned into some, we sort of sit in this uh, antiquated car and go on a wild ride. So that's what's been happening with the markets for sure here. It is about 1 p.m., 1 p.m., 1 a.m. Eastern as I turn this on, because I just want to highlight uh, some signals that are coming in on the 60-minute on all of the futures indices, I think all the futures indices, right here. So I'm actually um, taking some trades uh, this evening and placing these buys right when they occur. They just printed on the chart right here. So on the MES, this is the same as the ES, uh, came in right around 2909, where we're trading at right now. MNQ or the NQ, let's look at it on the NQ. Uh, two back-to-back -back signals, conditions still presence there. That's around 8193s. This is in conjunction with the VIX 25 strategy that I've been tra uh, tra uh, trading and teaching recently, which is to look for uh, opportunities uh, in the Globex overnight session using uh, volatility as a gauge based on what, where volatility closed. You place orders uh, below the market, below prior sessions low. You can look uh, somewhere on the channel maybe for uh, other videos about that VIX 25 strategy. Uh, we also have one in the Dow there as well. Let's call it 25 150s. And the only one that did not fire off is the Russell. Here in gold, we don't have a si I love gold. signal, but it's very odd to see this kind of price behavior as we saw it today. Uh, essentially, nothing is working as a hedge right now, which makes the volatility on the downside even more extreme. You can't buy gold, at least the last couple of days, to hedge. It's about $50 off its recent highs, almost $60 off its recent highs. And the bond market, I think, is pretty tapped out. Can rates go lower? Yeah, they can. But the long end of the curve hasn't really been doing anything. So anyway, takeaway is, uh, let's see, we'll look at, uh, there's 2908 right there in the... Uh, in the S&P, booked about $1,100 tonight, just trading single contracts, being real patient and careful, uh, and did just want to pop on here because it's the first time we've had some extreme turn signals that uh, have come up. So let's uh, let's trade the extreme turn, or at least be aware of uh, the opportunity to trade these markets 23 hours a day. If you're brand new to this and brand new to the channel, first time ever seeing this, there's a description in the description below. You can find out more how, about how you can trade futures for daily income. Uh, also, all the tools that we use and some insight into this particular indicator uh, that you are looking at here on TradingView. All right, TradingView, Tra TradingView, yes. I always mix that up because we use a trade journal called TraderView, V-U-E. Anyway, my name is Roderick. I'm the lead derivatives and futures trader at the Traders Dev Group, where we develop systems traders worldwide. I'd like to remind you to stay green and always trade like you mean it. Thanks.